Welcome. Let's see what you all get. All right. Let's see what your message is for the day. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. For those of you who have subscribed, thank you so much. Higher power. Yeah. Full ascension. Opening of the crown chakra and the third eye. Very much significant. Divinely guided. Divinely protected. Your angels are with you and so are your ancestors. Four is huge stability. So property, a house, you know. I think you felt very orphaned in the past, okay, and very alone, but that's changing. I think you've had to been have been in the solitude in order to have this ascension, all right? So there is progression. There is a lot of changes as well, all right? If you have had difficulties, like with your living situation or whatever, that's going to be changing for the positive. This is poised, yeah, ascension in terms of spirituality, but also in career. Um, this can also be, um, you know, like moving up the ladder, a uh, better position. This could be change in home, but really it is about a career move that's really going to ascend you and you're going to be super, super happy. It's important to be here and now, so very much present, okay? Uh, don't get anxious about the future and don't get anxious about the past. Leave that in the past. And that is a five, okay? And that's what has you feeling this type of way of depression. So you have to really, you know, move that along, okay? And just be for now in the present moment. Moment, and that's when you get your downloads and you're being divinely guided. So know that you're divinely guided and know exactly that there's like a wish fulfillment and guess this, Treasure Island. So slow and steady wins the race. So be very, very mindful of that. Huge treasure coming in. So huge prosperity coming in. But you do need to be here and now because it's consistent effort and it's very stable, okay? And it's very slow. So it's about breathing, all right? 9, 10, 11. So this is full alignment. So this is also about maybe meditating, uh, possibly doing exercise, uh, you know, breathing exercise. This is yoga. And this is again, full alignment. So I think you're full alignment in all your chakras, which is great. And I think that you've manifested this peace, right? And this here and now, and this ascension spiritually, as well as in terms of business. All right. All that glitters is not gold. I think that that's what has you possibly in this energy. So be mindful. And this might also be a person that is wearing a mask. And maybe you were wearing a mask, but you've ascended. And so it's important to understand that, that you're no longer wearing a mask and be mindful of the people that are. So just because it glitters or just because it looks great does not mean that it's the best. It's probably fake, okay? So be mindful. Full warning there. So this is 10. This is ending of a cycle of a labyrinth or going round and round or being confused. This can also be, you know, um, huge balance uh, and grounding that's coming, but you have to have some sort of flexibility, okay? Um, this is an open heart like we had the other day in one of my, uh, you know, in one of the readings, I can't remember which, which uh, channel it was or Instagram or whatever, but there was something about being broken open. So huge like love, you know, this is also self-love. This is also about possibly like love at first sight, which is what I was going to say, which is very interesting because there's nothing here, but that's sort of coming. All right. So truth be told, you're also going to see things for what they are, right? You're going to take your mask off and people are going to, you're going to be able to see past people's masks and you're going to be able to know the truth. Uh, to be fair, so this is about balancing things out, huge karma coming in. All right. I think this is a fortune cookie. So check out my, you know, the fortune cookies as well. And then of course, huge prosperity that there's a nest egg and you're going to balance things out. This is huge wisdom, uh, you know, in your crown chakra. This is also legal matters that maybe you've been involved with. You're going to be very successful at them or possibly some sort of like um, alchemy in terms of like, uh, like, uh, like winning something. Okay. Um, yeah, like winning something or some sort of like attorney or law that you're going to be, um, you know, being, um, that you're going to win or be victorious over. So this is eight, nine, 10, another 10, I think there's two tens here. So endings of a cycle. And then of course you have, so you have nine, 10, 10, 10, 11, and then you have an 11 here. This is building blocks. This is about a house properties, huge stability, and it's forming. And it's something that you very much have worked worked on and worked with and manifested, okay? So that's coming. 
Very interesting. We'll take one more. Time for a nap. Yeah, you're gonna have you're gonna be able to rest four, five, five. So lots of changes in the you know uh stability era area as well as home. But also this is a time that you're not gonna be so you know grinding so much and you're not gonna be um you know so stressed and so pressed. It's gonna be time for relaxation, resting, regen regenerating yourself, you know, um energizing yourself and then just really being flexible with your body as well as your um you know situation uh your environment and your in body mind and spirit and that's really going to take you far okay absolutely you're going to find more peace hope this helped love and light please like share and subscribe and uh thank you so much ciao